So I'm going to start today's video with a confession. It is virtually impossible to capture the beauty of this guitar either in a still photograph or on video. It really is stunning. So what is this guitar? Well first of all it's not my guitar, I just have a loan of this for a little while. This is a Fender, Fender, difficult to, to capture this, it is a Fender J Mascus Jazzmaster, has Jay's name, or Jay's signature on the back of the headstock. So this is a very limited guitar, my understanding is it was only made from 2008 to 2009, Fender Japan, it is a Fender Japan exclusive model and it is a really stunning guitar truly. So in today's video we'll be looking at the specs of the guitar like the neck measurements, the pickup measurements, we'll be listening to some clean sounds, we'll be listening to some overdrive sounds, and maybe some big muff influence lead sounds as well. Now as this is a signature of Dinosaur Jr's main man, Jay Mascus, I will be doing some Dinosaur Jr style of riffs. They may not be exactly accurate, but it's about how the guitar sounds, it's not about how good an impression I can do of Jay Mascus because you know, hands up here, it's not the best impression ever of Jay Mascus. So, so a couple of years ago, I got this, the Squire Jay Mascus signature model, and I've always fancied trying one of these. Now, a good friend of mine has owned this for a while, and he said, I could drop it around, you can try the Fender Japan Jay Mascus Jazzmaster against the Squire Jay Mascus Jazzmaster. So I will be doing a full video comparing these two guitars, the sounds and the specs, because it's a funny thing, you know, they're very different, but they're very similar, if that makes sense. So, so that will be a future video, but today I'm going to be focusing on the Fender Japan J Mascus Jazzmaster. So let's look at the specs of this fine guitar. Look at that purple sparkle finish. Really, really nice. So it has a Fender tremolo unit. Again, you know, I've said a couple of times, it's, it's difficult to catch just how nice that is. It has a Gibson EBR1 style bridge. Master volume, master tone for both pickups. I think it's a gold anodized pick guard. I think these are more sort of traditional jazz master pickups. It has the neck adjustment or the truss rod adjustment at the end of the neck. Now that's the rhythm circuit, which I haven't used in this video, so my apologies for that. I, I don't really like the sound from this, so I haven't used it jumbo frets on a rosewood fingerboard. Now this is not my guitar as I said, so I haven't haven't changed the strings, I haven't done anything to this at all. Normally I would have taken uh, the pick guard off to look at the pickups. So it's a matching purple sparkle headstock as well. So I'll look at the measurements of the neck in a bit, but let's look at the back of the guitar. Again, beautiful finish. Now there's a couple of dings on this, it says from 2008, 2009, Nothing on the neck plane, and it's got a serial number crafted in Japan there. It has a maple neck, J Mascus signature on the back, and some sort of standard Fender style tuners. So it's a comfortable looking neck, but let's look at the measurements just to see what they are. So the nut measurement is 42.6 millimeters there. The width of the 12 fret is 52.22 millimeters. And there's the neck profile of the first fret and the 12th fret, so it definitely gets a bit bigger the further up you go. Now the bridge pickup is 5.83, the middle position is 3.04 and the neck position is 6.39. Now as I said at the beginning of the video, it is almost impossible to capture just how beautiful and purple sparkly this guitar is. So the pickups in this Fender Japan J Mascus Jazzmaster measure less than the pickups in the equivalent Squire version, but let's hear how they sound. Now I'll go through various stages of gain, uh, start sort of cleanish, and then get higher gain. Now I did say there may be some Dinosaur Junior style of riffs here, but please do forgive me for that. And it's about how the guitar sounds, not not my guitar playing.
So that last sound example was a tad detuned. So what do I think of this? You know, I've said about three or four times, this is a beautiful, this is a stunning looking guitar. It plays really nice as well. I like the jumbo frets. I know some people think, you know, when you've got a Gibson style bridge with a different radius, like an ABR one bridge, a different radius than the neck, the outer strings are a bit higher. I, I don't mind that. Clearly Jay Mascus doesn't mind that either. I find this a really easy guitar to play, it's just, just a great all-round guitar. Now these are not cheap, they were only made as I say 2008-2009, so if you're picking one of these up you know you're, you're paying upwards of like £2,000 or something like that, so a massive thank you to my friend for giving me a little loan of this and for allowing me to test it against the Squire one which will be in a future video, so yes it's a lovely guitar, it really is. So for the final part of the video, I put together a quick tune, about three and a half minutes, on all the rhythm tracks. I did, I guess, what Jay does, or certainly what he says he does in his rig rundowns. I used the cleaner tones were either on the neck and in the middle, and the lead tones are all on the bridge. Now I will say I haven't done any sound examples in this video using the rhythm circuit because I have never used the rhythm circuit on my other jazz master either. It's not a sound that I particularly like, so my apologies for that, if you're looking for the rhythm sound then it's, it's not in this video, but I may do that in, in the comparison video with the Squire one. So yes, a lovely guitar folks. As ever, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Cheers for now. <laughs>